Hello, this is Rob Walker from Walker Texas Peppers and I was wanting to do the last pepper review for the night and it's going to be on the Yaki Blue Purple Ghost. Yaki Blue Purple Ghost. We got the seeds from Sherwood Seeds. You can find it on Amazon. Get you a good deal. You get a better price from Amazon than you do for Sherwood Seeds. Whatever the deal they got going. But uh, I was able to find better price getting it from Amazon than actually getting it from Sherwood themselves. So get up on that deal if y'all can. This is the Yaki Blue Purple Ghost. And uh, our pepper plants for this, they all got about six foot tall. Real high yield at the very end of the year, of course. And on this pepper, this pepper's around the million Scoville range, like most ghost peppers, being crossed with a ghost, whatever they crossed. I do not know. I looked into it the best I could, trying to get the information, you know. I looked up the information, try to get the best knowledge I can before I get on this video, so I can explain them. I'm learning along with y'all. I don't know everything about peppers. I love peppers, and I'm learning right along with y'all. So here we go. The Yaki Blue Purple Ghost. Now, when it was growing, it was a purple, purple pepper, solid dark purple. But it ripens red like a lot of peppers do. So, let's get into this ghost pepper, y'all. Yeah, uh, real fruity. Wee. There ain't no fake in this one, y'all. Uh, real fruity. Uh, then the heat comes on real strong. And I can tell it's going to be a builder. It's not really attacking my throat or anything. It's just that my entire mouth is on fire. It is. The ghost pepper, you know, it just keeps going. But what a fruitiness. Uh, there was a really kind of a thicker wall than, than the boot jalokias that we grew before. Uh, most of the boot jalokias that we grew back last year, they were all thin walled, you know. <laughs> That's what was a pleasant surprise about these uh, yucky blue purple ghosts is they were a thicker, thicker wild pepper, more meatier, meatier ghost pepper with just the same amount of heat as a regular boot jalokia. You see there's a little tear. That was a great pepper, y'all. And I wanted to burn tonight. And uh, here it is. I got a good burn on that. And, you know, you can't miss with the ghost pepper uh, unless it's not ripe. Oh. Yeah. I'd say right now my heat level is at least five to six. Um, but it's climbing it. Hell, it might. We'll see. I'll go a little bit longer. 548. Let's, let's endure the burn together a little bit. The heat's mainly all around my mouth. It ain't like just sitting on my tongue. It's mainly, it's spread around all around, but there's no choking me up in the throat or uh, no surprise hiccups, hiccup burps like you might have seen on another video when I was surprised by a pepper. That was great pepper, y'all. Yeah. Around a million Scoville, I don't know. I know it's above over a million, maybe a million and a half. It's Bujalokia crossed with whatever it's crossed for to get that purple look. I wish I knew. Very beautiful plant. Uh, dark foliage, dark stems. And like I said, we got our seeds from Amazon, care of Sherwood Seeds. So, you might want to look into that. Uh... 
I'm gonna look in the little basket and try to find more peppers to do reviews for the last bit of peppers we got left at the end of the season. I said in a previous video, I had a bigger bag of peppers that I was uh, planning on doing reviews, but they ended up going bad before I could get to do the reviews, whether it was the weather or just I, my belly wasn't ready to endure, endure a super hot overnight. I didn't wanna get cramps. Uh, you know, if you've eaten these super hots, you definitely gotta prep. If you don't prep, you're definitely gonna feel it and it will uh, let you know you're alive. That's for sure. But anyways, y'all, that was a great pepper. Yaki Blue Purple Ghosts. And that's a Bujolokia type. That's Capsicum Chinets. Like I said, dark foliage, dark stems. Beautiful plant. I re highly recommend it. If you love ghost peppers and, and you want a meatier pepper than the thin-walled uh, regular red boot jalokias that are out there, uh, look into this Yankee Blue Purple Ghost. It's a lot thicker, thicker-walled pepper, a lot meatier pepper. So, uh, to me, I, I, I like it a lot for uh, doing the sauces, you know. We're definitely going to have uh, the Yankee Blue Purple Ghost in our hot sauce, in some of our hot sauces here. But uh, I'll be selling the sauces locally, to friends and family, and uh, at the local flea market on Mansfield Highway. Uh, more details about that when I reveal the sauces. And uh, I got some people that I'll probably be sending some sauces to, and I'm hoping to be doing that. As soon as I get them, get them going. Uh, but uh, that was a great pepper. Thanks for enduring the burn with me. For well over a million Scoville on that pepper, the Boot Jalokia, the Yaki Blue Purple Ghost, y'all. And uh, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. Let me know I'm doing a good job or hell. Leave me a comment telling me I'm doing shitty or something. I don't know. Just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Walker Texas Peppers. Please subscribe. Hit that bell. Keep up with anything new. Any more pepper reviews. I'm also going to be doing more videos explaining a little bit more about this next season. I'm trying to do a little bit more better content. A little bit more better. Better content. More content. Try to be on a little bit more. Maybe do some lives. Not be so camera shy. Try to get a little bit better. I, I want to bring it a lot better to you next season because next season will be a better season. We're going to make damn sure of it. And the only thing that can change the way it turns out is if Mother Nature kicks us in the balls again. But anyways, thanks again for watching, and y'all have a good night.